All right, folks, we have our zoo guest. I am <laughs> freaking out. I'm not going to lie because you know that these always scare me. And I basically just threw them on I you. I know, you just threw them on <laughs> So here we go. But these are Texas giant millipedes? Yes, and um, they're pretty cool here. So I was trying to get the other ones I have out. But yeah, look, this one's running real fast. Look at that. Go. But yeah, they, um, so within their name, of course, they're found in Texas, many different parts of Texas. And a lot of times you can come upon them, like if you're maybe working on a garden or you have... Uh, uh, you know, some of you working outside in, right. and uh, and not to be confused with the centipede, which is a venomous uh, oh. creature. Um, these don't. These they do. The only thing that they can do is um, they do have a little, like a little substance, a little toxin that they can release if they get a little a little bit scared. Um, ooh, a long time ago, I brought these. There, there's an African uh, millipede that's way Huge. bigger, and and um, you can really uh, tell the difference between um, them and and um, they're the same thing. They release a little toxin and. And theirs is a little bit, I don't know if, it, if it's just because they're bigger or what, they, they're, those, their little toxin mm -hmm. will stain your hands like a really? yellow. Really? So hopefully these don't. And like I already see them kind of releasing, but. Oh, you, <laughs> okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So, and we just have to make sure we have to wash our hands after. But, of course. But they're pretty, they're pretty interesting. And you know what? I love taking these when the, <laughs> to, uh, to outreaches that we have because uh -huh. the kids love any creepy crawly. Right. I'm yeah. not sure why. I think as you get older, you get more afraid of smaller things. Maybe because you're small. You're yeah. like, oh, these are my size. But it feels so strange. It feels just little, like, soft prickly. It's not even, it doesn't hurt at all, but just them walking around is you see the all craziest them, thing. You see all their little, their little legs moving like this yeah. one's escaping. Look at that. And, um, and yeah, they're, they're segmented. Uh, 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 centipedes, each little segment has, yeah. um, I think it's two pairs of, of uh, feet. Okay. So that's why oh, they wow. are, they're really, they have so many, so many feet. You know, I know. Wow, look around. at that. Look at that. <laughs> this it's one over here, I don't know, this one had a power aid or something. He's <laughs> running He's around in, everywhere. On the go. <laughs> so these are, obviously, you guys have these at the zoo, but you have some programs going on so other people can kind of go see these and see all, everything you guys Yeah, have. we have um, classes for, uh, or summer camps for the kids um, where they're going on throughout the whole summer. Mm -hmm. um, and we do, in fact, have a class specifically about, like, creepy crawlers and bugs. Okay. So um, we have our butterflies, bugs, and blooms exhibit, which are these are found in. Okay. And so, um, you know, if your kid loves animals or anything, there are so many different topics. You can go on our website and check out um, this class schedule and also the uh, grade level pertaining to your child. And it's just a fun little <laughs> uh, uh, outing there at the zoo. And there you can uh, even do sleepovers at the zoo and everything. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool if you're not afraid of spiders and you're fine <laughs> yeah you you go you guys can hang out with these these guys all right well thank you so much charlie for coming in we thank appreciate you. it and thank you little ones for coming in <laughs> all right folks we'll be back in just a few moments